Okay, I just picked up a uh, Fluke um, 8024B off eBay for not working for $20, free shipping. Um, not working. So, just opened it up and discovered it looks like somebody has just liberally sprayed this thing with a WD-40. There's WD-40 all over everything, all the switches, the display, the circuit board. So, uh, we'll see if we can get this one running. I don't know. Maybe not. There's some more WD-40. So it's definitely going to require some cleaning. So let's see if we can uh, clean it up and hopefully get it working again. So uh, people do not spray these things down with WD-40. That doesn't really do anything for them. It will not get them working again. All right, well, let's see what we can do. Get this thing working. I've got the meter pulled out of the case and I think I've got most of the uh, WD-40 cleaned up inside. Took some alcohol with a toothbrush and Q-tips and cleaned all around. I got this, this is a two board system so I got the board split. So uh, now the meter itself, I mean that display is, I think it's shot. I'm not sure what's happened. Maybe WD-40 leaked into it. Or maybe it's just some other failure but I might if I can get this thing working uh, take one of the uh, displays off my other similar um, meters and pop it on just see if the meter is okay so I can calibrate it but um, let me put it together and see if it's functioning well, this thing is reading all over the place uh, with nothing no input in it the lead shorted out So what I think I'll do is take these boards back apart and clean those switches out real good with the deoxid. See if that uh, helps out with the readings. Okay, do a little experiment with this display that's bad. So I tried peeling off the reflective backing, and uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like the display is clearing up. So, i continue doing that, especially here where I peeled off on this side, where my fingers are, I peeled off the, uh, um, uh, what is that, the polarizer on, on the very back, and that looks really clear. So, I'm going to continue peeling stuff and see if I can get this to clear up. Maybe that display is good after all. All right, this has turned into just a uh, experiment with this old uh, meter because uh, you know I had to I peeled all the um, reflective backing and the rear polarizer off of the LCD just to see if I can clear it up. And I think I have. I don't know if you can see it. You have to get the light and the viewing angle just right, but you can see it's displaying something. I've got it measuring DC volts. It just went up to 11, and it's just under 10. So depending on the angle, I'm reading about 10 volts here. So it looks like maybe the display is okay. It's just that the uh, reflective backing or the rear uh, polarizer lens was had something in it that was making it look funny. So I ordered a couple of uh, polarizer filters to play around with. So when they get in uh, tomorrow, I'll try playing around some more and see if I can make the screen look better. Um, I think there's still some issues with the uh, meter itself, but once we can read what it's trying to display, it'll be a little easier to troubleshoot. So that's what's coming up. All right, I finally figured out what's wrong with the AC on this uh, 
old Fluke 1024B. I was looking at the schematic, especially in the AC converter area. And uh, let's see, just right here, there's a uh, the only electrolytic that I can see 22 microfarad. It's what 16 volts. So I decided to use the uh, ESR meter and try to measure the ESR on that to see if it was bad. And there it is right there. So there's the sign. Yep, it was bad. It was infinite. So a really tight squeeze. I went to pull that out and you can see the negative post right here actually stuck in the meter. It just pulled right out of the bottom of the capacitor. And then underneath that there was signs that that had leaked out and uh, created a big mess. So I cleaned it out and uh, squeezed in this axial here that I had that's the right value. It's a 50 volt instead of a 16 volt so it's physically larger but it still fits in there. So after doing that it looks like the AC is finally working. So here it is. Let's plug the plug it into the outlet. And it's reading line voltage 122, which is about right. So screen doesn't look great, but it looks probably as good as it's going to look, and it's readable. Uh, the rest of the meter seems fairly accurate. I think I'll do a quick uh, calibration on it just to make sure, but um, I think it's going to be a good one. So let me go ahead and calibrate it and put it back in its case. And uh, that'll be one more fluke up and running. All right, there we go. The old uh, fluke uh, 8024B is uh, back operational and reading accurately on all AC, DC, and ohm scales. The uh, screen, LCD screen, it's still got some issues, but it's uh, about as good as I can get it. Did a quick calibration, and this is all reading within a decent range. Here's on AC. Plug it back into, it should read about 122 volts here. Yeah, there it does. So. There we go, one more save. This one's not perfect, of course, bad screen, the lift fail's missing. Um, there's still some issues with the peak hold, but I'm not going to mess with that. Everything else is working. So there we go, that'll end the restoration of the uh, early 80s vintage Fluke 8024B. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Hey, welcome back. Um, while assembling the video for this uh, multimeter restoration, I noticed that I left off big sections of it, which I didn't record. And I think that was because I'd pretty much given up on getting this thing working, but eventually I did. So what I had to do is order some uh, of this reflective film uh, polarizer lens material. And there's like a two week gap, which I just kind of forgot about. And but I did cut that out and you have to orient this stuff just right for it to work because it is a polarizer lens. But I got it oriented and installed and that's why you can see the display. You know, if you get this in the wrong orientation, um, it doesn't turn black. So you need to get that just right. So I did eventually get it right and you can see the display, depending on the angle, you can still see some of the lines coming through. It's not perfect, but it's good enough to read. Now after getting the display fixed, I noticed that the AC wasn't reading properly. You know, DC and ohms were reading accurately, but AC was not. So uh, that's where I had to go in and start looking at the schematic for the uh, AC converter and found uh, that there was a electrolytic capacitor. That was the first thing I checked and sure enough it had been leaking and had an infinite uh, ESR. So that's where I I think I do have the video of me popping that out. Or maybe I didn't get a video of me pulling it out, but uh, it was definitely leaking and kind of leaked all over the board. So after cleaning it up and then reinstalling a new one, AC is accurate again. Displays decent. 
uh, everything else is accurate on the meter so this is the true end of the video so again thanks for watching including this little bonus footage and uh, on to the next video